This is Eddie Silva for the St. Louis Symphony blog. Hanu Lintu has just come to the stage and and soon you will hear Stravinsky's The Fairy's Kiss. at uh, the rehearsal break for um, Stravinsky's The Fairy's Kiss. Um, over, you'll see uh, Tom Stubbs and uh, Richard Holmes and uh, Josh Riggs are taking a look at some, uh, taking a look at the bass drum over here. Hello, Tom. Am I ruining your No, you're perfect. Um, I have with us uh, Roger Cotha, principal horn of the St. Louis Symphony. And Roger, you have not played Stravinsky's Fairy's Kiss before. Well, now I have. I've played exactly a half rehearsal's worth, and I'm, so I can say I'm a Fairy's Kiss initiate. <laughs> I'd heard about this piece for years from one of my teachers who said that, Roger, that is a fiendish, difficult piece, and I kind of see what he was talking about. It's, it's really an interesting horn part, I must say. So it's truly fiendishly difficult. Well, I, I don't want to say that, but uh, there's some, some unusual technical requirements. Uh-huh. Um, Stravinsky, you know, he went through so many phases. He started out as a romantic, then he had some impressionistic moments, then he did the barbaric thing with the rite of spring, yeah. and then he had sort of a neoclassical thing. And this is, in a way, it's kind of neo-romantic. He's definitely yeah. emulating his hero Tchaikovsky, so this whole thing is very Tchaikovsky-esque, kind of. With yeah, it's something of an homage to yeah, Tchaikovsky in many ways. It's just about, it's ballet music through and through. It's, it's really delightful. Yeah. So. And uh, tell me, this is... This is not your first time with our uh, conductor who is premiering with the St. Louis Symphony, Hanu Lintu. No, he, he came to Houston several times while I was there, and we were very impressed with him there. He, he has an incredible uh, presence on the podium. It's kind of quirky and, and out there and, and very projecting. He's very much into this music. He loves this music. In fact, we did this piece in Houston. I didn't play it, but he's, this is one of his specialties. So. And so why are these fins so amazing when it you comes know, to music? You know, it's, that's very interesting. Maybe it's the long winters. They're cooped up just dreaming of things or something. I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. But uh, there certainly are a lot of them. Well, thank you, Roger. And sure. we're very much looking forward yeah. to the concerts this I weekend. Too. Thank you. Bye-bye.